So this afternoon around 2 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon, December the 3rd, 2017, my daughter and I went to to this mall. Um, this is not the same mall where you see me going to this past few weeks. Um, this is actually this is the same mall that I had my second panic attack. Um, the first panic attack happened about 10 15 minutes away from this location at a parking lot and i didn't even make it inside the store where i had my first panic attack i just had my panic attack in my car after i put my car in park and i was getting ready to go out that's when the panic attack hit so i decided to come to this mall because this is where i had my second panic attack um I did made it inside of the mall and inside a store that I used to go all the time. But, you know, once you have a panic attack, you try to stay away from places where you had your first few panic attacks. Because you think you're going to have them there every time you go there. I was like that, but as you can see, I've been practicing going to going to different places, um, going for walks, bike rides. Going for car wise or I'm driving somewhere. You know, sometimes I'm driving up to an hour and you know, I when I'm driving sometimes I'll feel like a panic coming but I keep going. Anyways, um you know, I'm extremely happy that I went that I actually made it here. Um my daughter came with me, I asked her to. Not as a safe person because, you know, I don't really have a safe person when I go for walks um 95% of the time I'm going by myself when I'm going for a, a drive most of the time I'm going by myself as well unless it's a quick trip is for me I'm just taking my mom somewhere or my daughter's to school picking up from school her to get something to to eat or something you know uh, but most of the time I'm eating home cooked meals uh, right now but Sometimes I'm just driving just to to drive. Um, when I get here, I was I was a little and I had a little anxiety, but nothing that was gonna stop me. Even though if when I got on the freeway on my way here, I had no anxiety. Um, I didn't have any any thoughts about. You know, stopping in the freeway and coming back home. You know, go on the freeway and take the next exit and come back around or anything like that. When I put the car in park, I got out the, out the car and walked right into the mall. And nothing happened and I was happy. Even if something, even if I felt panicky, I would have just stayed there. So here I am in the store, um, like I mentioned, I came here with my daughter. Um, my daughter is not really my safe person. I don't really depend on a safe person, but if I had to have a safe person, most likely it would be my daughter because she was with me when I had my first and second panic attack. Uh, when I go for walks, 95% of the time, I'm going on my own, like I mentioned. Um, the other 5%, you know, sometimes I've been going for walks with my neighbor, um, sometimes with my niece, sometimes with my daughter and my niece. When I'm going for car rides, most of the time, um, if I'm not the one driving, it's mostly like my dad. If I'm going for car rides, um, well, I mean, if I'm if I'm driving, no, most of the time I'm going by myself unless I'm going to pick up my daughter from school, her dropping her off from school, her, her she wants to go to her friend's house and her mom is not home. So, you know, more. if I'm going to the mall, then sometimes I'll, I'm taking my my mom with me or I'm going with my daughter. But um, like I mentioned, I don't really have a safe person. Um, anything like that so when i'm walking with my neighbor i don't film it because uh, i'm just walking with him but lately when when i walk with my neighbor i'll go i'll go for a quick walk um maybe 
an hour before he comes to my house just so I can go for that walk and film. And then later on, he'll come along and go for a walk with me. So I'll leave my house like two, three times a day now. Um, you know, sometimes just once, but lately it's been like two or three times a day. I'm also chewing gum here, as you can see. Um, uh, some we seen chewing gum, and when you have anxiety, it's I don't know why it feels like it helps. I just can't explain it, but maybe it's just in my head. But it also helps me to feel to feel grounded. Like you know, I'm chewing my gum. I'm focusing on chewing my gum and not biting my lips or anything like that. But you know. I stay at the mall for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, did I have any anxiety? Not really. Um, at least not that I know of. I didn't feel panicky. I was just having fun. Uh, you see me embarrassing my daughter a couple of times. Um, even off camera, I was like kind of messing around with her. But uh, other than that, um, you know. For those of you that still having a hard time leaving your house, um, you know, just take your baby steps. You know, if you need to have a safe person, bring somebody with you, you know. But if you haven't been inside any stars for a couple of years, I would say slowly go for a walk around the neighborhood. If you have a hard time just going to your backyard. Like myself, I couldn't go to my backyard for a couple of months. I would feel panicky because that was still outside, you know. Some of us um, could, that are housebound, we could actually go outside our backyard to our driveway, but we can't stay out there for so long. I was one of those persons. So I sat in my backyard every every morning for about 5 to 15 minutes, and I slowly worked my way up to my front yard. So you know you just have to take little baby steps if you can't you stay in your house and you know you don't really go outside you know just look outside your window sit down by the window you know just get comfortable looking outside for a couple of days then slowly work your way up to sitting in your backyard for 5 10 15 minutes a day you know once you get comfortable with your backyard slowly move to your front yard and then start walking to you know your neighbor's house and then your neighbor's neighbor's house you know just slowly take little steps because uh, you just have to get used to being outside once you get used taste? to being outside the panic attack you don't have any of those tastes where you can put your debit card inside no. decrease i never heard these brand that's why they're so like it has for me huh who? What? When? Why? Really? Um, other than that, like I mentioned, you know, I'm doing a lot better. I'm a lot happier. I don't feel depressed. You know, I feel like the person I used to be. And you're going to see me like kind of embarrassing myself, embarrassing my daughter. That's the person I was before. You know, I, I used to like playing around a lot. You know, just, I'm sitting around just having a good time, embarrassing myself, embarrassing my daughter. Sometimes my daughter embarrasses me. You know, but that's who I am. What you gonna get your mom? That was slowly huh? coming back. Yeah. You no. Know, the person Air that you Air compressor. You were before you have anxiety, that person's still there. You, know, you just have to find a way to get that person back. I what you go get that, your um, what is the rest of the video? Want to get VR so you can walk around and get lost? Oh. I kind of regret selling mine. I don't know how good it is. I'll get you this. You don't know? It's a VR glass. It's, it's like virtual. Actually, the line's not even as long as I thought, and just the other one.
Ja, kijk je dit. Nou, Wat is het? What is this supposed to be? A beer? I don't know. Chewy region? Oh, that's the Buddha. How much is this? Yep, I didn't realize what it was. 30 bucks compared to. What's that, 55? Uh, I was close. One, mm, mm, mm. I'm looking for like plain, a plain hat that doesn't really say anything on it. You don't see any plain hats, do you? With no logo? Well, let me see. I don't bear with you since you told me to wear it. I'll wear two hats so walking around this thing. Why you want? <laughs> Can I embarrass? Huh? Thank you. Can I embarrass seeing you? Yeah. You didn't think I was going to wear it, did you? Let's go this way.
too bad your cousin so not into toys anymore. I always <laughs> just got them toys. It would have been easier. What? Yeah. Tell me what size this is. Mm -hmm. Large. Large. How much is that one? Huh? Dang. That would be like, I'm more like a medium. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go walk outside the mall now. Are you ready? It's the candy store. <laughs> Wasn't that a candy store before? So as you can see, the mall is um, it was customers like taking him on a Sunday afternoon and besides the um, holidays ahead, Christmas is just coming around the corner. Uh, extremely happy uh, I went and I didn't end it and it didn't stop me from going. Yep. Yeah, find something. You know, this is the store that when I had that panic attack, we went out from here. Yep. That's why I came in here. <laughs> Let me embarrass you again. Huh? I know. It's just like mostly like more like the warehouse. But
The lights make me sleepy in here. How about you? I'm oh. I've seen people buy stuff from here and they sell it too. What a mess. This thing size 13 with size 10 and a half. Um, size 10. What is this? 14? Yeah. Those are nice. Yep, but those are like size 14. I was like, yeah, finally. Please. See, people buy these and they sell them for like, how much do they sell this one? Wherever the tag is. $16. You know, they can sell for like $50 or $60. It is, um, $70. Compared to, yep, so you can actually sell this for like $30 or $40. That's what I want to do. I need to find out the, um, the app that tells you where you can scan it. This is uh, mostly, uh, what's this, 11? Those are great, maybe I would... Why am I looking at this? Cleats? What is this, soccer? I can't tell. What is this, size 11? Yeah. Why does size 11 look so big? something behind my back, huh? huh? Did you do something behind my back? Yeah. What? Uh, invisible stuff? Yeah. yeah. Where is that? <laughs> Lint?
line for the bathroom? I need a lamp for my room. Mm. A lamp? So I can Remember I don't have a lamp in my room? That lit, just that little lamp? I don't know if I really want to walk around for lamp on my hand right now. Mm. Hey. Look, I'm we're in Paris. What? I like this. Huh? Want to walk out from here? Huh? Those are the kind you like? Is this comforter? I don't like the red color, but I don't know. Look here. Oh, that's food. That's 45. What color is yours? What color is yours? Uh huh. Huh? You want Thank you guys. I was like, wait, how we get out from the door? I feel confused. So after spending about 45 minutes to an, an hour at the mall, this is um, uh, us heading back home. Like I mentioned, you know, I haven't been back in the city into that mall for over a year and a half now. So I feel extremely happy, you know. It feels good being here again. Um, I didn't, I didn't feel panicky. I didn't feel anything like that. You know, even if I did, I, I would have still stay. You know, I, would, I told myself, you know, I'm tired of being scared of my symptoms, my sensation. So, the sooner I got over the fear of the panic, the symptoms, the sensation. You know they don't get to me as much i will like hey i i can do this you know um it's just that you know, the negative thoughts that's running in your mind is telling you you can't and then once you pay attention to those thoughts that you can't then you're gonna say what's the point of me trying i know i can't but here's the thing if one day you walk out you get your mail and you haven't done that for a few months, for a few, for a few years, but one day you go out, you know, even though you feel like it was nothing just to go out and get milk, but just remind yourself that was the first time you actually went out and get milk for for a few weeks, for a few months, for a few years, whatever it might be. See, you have to think about that as a positive, not as a negative. Any little steps that you take to recover, that's a positive. So, you know, even though it might feel like you're not doing enough, but you, you just have to remind yourself you're doing something to recover. You know, for myself, when I start sitting in my backyard for five minutes, you know, my daughter is telling me, oh, you can only do for five minutes. And then I, I said to myself, you know what, 
I'm gonna stay out here for like 15 20 minutes so I stayed there for 15 20 minutes in my backyard guess what my negative thoughts completely went away so each time I did it I was waking up with less and less negative thoughts you know before I used to every few hours in the middle of the night and then every time I woke up I would have a negative thought up in my head and I couldn't go back to sleep because my mind wouldn't stop thinking about every little thing you know I would think okay I'm awake now I'm gonna start having little thoughts pop up in my head like why this why that you know so now when I wake up in the middle of the night for whatever reason you know I don't have any negative thoughts I'm able to close my eyes and fall back asleep you know before sometimes um even though I'm tired I can't even fall asleep you know especially um for a couple months I was able to fall asleep to maybe midnight sometimes I couldn't even fall asleep to like 5 a.m. and then I would wake back up I would wake up around you know 8 9 a.m. so I wasn't getting much sleep but now I'm able to you know go to sleep sooner if I do wake up in the middle of the night I'm able to close my eyes fall back to sleep and my mind is calm you know I'm, I don't have any any negative thoughts that pop up and if if I do have a negative thoughts in the middle of the night I'm just gonna get up go outside I might just go sit in my driveway you know I'm just gonna bring my negative thoughts with me and go outside you know I'm not gonna allow it to get to me or I'm just gonna go let those thoughts happen and I'm just gonna close my eyes and fall back to sleep you know just the more you pay attention to your symptoms your sensations to your thoughts the harder it is to snap out of it because you're giving your your thoughts too much power just remember those thoughts those negative thoughts are not really your thoughts it's just that they're there and you start focusing on it you know you're feeding you're feeding yourself the negative thoughts by saying yeah you're right I can't I can't um, go to my backyard I can't get the mail so why am I even going to try but as soon as you have those thoughts that pop up say I can't get the mail go out get the mail and then you're gonna realize that you went against your negative thoughts and every one of those thoughts will slowly go away you know so if you can't get the mail and one day you want to get the mail the next day you get the mail again you keep getting the mail then those thoughts that thought of you not being able to get the mail will go away then you slowly work to the next thought that pops up in your head like oh I can get the mail now but I can't walk you know two houses down go get the mail go walk two houses down keep doing that and then that thought of you not being able to get the mail or walk in two blocks or two houses down that thought will go away because you did it you went against your own negative mind you're gonna turn your negative mind into a positive mind and once you overcome all your thoughts guess what you're gonna be able to sleep better you're not gonna have as much uh, muscle tension you know right now I'm not getting that much muscle tension um, I, I still get headaches like migraines head pressure but they're not as bad as they used to be it's because I'm out there doing the things that I thought I was never gonna be able to do and I'm doing them even when I'm feeling sick to my stomach um, when I'm feeling panicky but the, the more I do it the less I'm scared of my my symptoms and my sensation because you know they took control of me now I'm taking control of it back other than that um, you just have to believe in yourself what you can do because once you can do it and you're gonna slowly realize that you're gonna get better each time you do it